This is the video review for SH Figure Arts Common Rider Eternal. Eternal is from the Gaia Memories A to Z movie. I'm going to start off with his accessories. He comes with uh, two fists, left and right, two holding things hands, left and right, two pointing slash posing hands, which are basically recycled from the Cyclone Joker mold. Both left and right open splayed hands, as you can see, one here, one there. And then he comes with a thumbs up slash thumbs down hand. Now, I would have liked him to come with both left and right, because in the movie, in the first scene, he uses this hand to do his thumbs up. And then later on, yes, he uses this one for the remainder of the movie, but it would have been nice to include both. On another note, his holding things hands should not be holding things hands, and um, I'll get to that. He also comes with his eternal dagger, which he cannot hold properly at all. Now, when I bought this figure, I had the complete intent to make a better review than Shigen Shinobi. While my review is still better, I still have to say bad things about the figure. Over time, at first I was like, all right, you know, it'll get I'll get used to it. It's whatever. No, no. Um he can't hold it properly. Every time he holds this dagger in the movie, where's his finger? Right there, in that little hole. In that hole. Right there. Where is it on the toy? Not in the hole, I'll tell you that much. His holding things hands should have been trigger hands. But they aren't. Why? I don't know. And last but not least, he comes with a cape. This is the cape he comes with. I will show you briefly how to put it on. That's a cape I made for him, which is infinitely better. Like, oh my god, infinitely better. Let's go ahead and pop his head off, pull my cape out. Now if you notice, on this cape, there's little grooves and indents. You know, you just line that up. You don't even have to really line it up. You just you just stick them in there like a burrito. You just, just put them in there. Make your favorite burrito. And then uh, pop the head on. He loses articulation in the arms once you do that. Completely. Can't go outward. Especially in this hand. And yeah, I didn't pop his head all the way down. Doesn't really matter. I'm about to take the cape off of him. But that's his uh, pretty assy cape right there. Once again, Bandai cheapened this uh, release. As you can see, I painted the diamond on his head. He normally only comes with uh, a dot. It's not supposed to be a dot. It's supposed to be a diamond. Um, the paint apps on him are sloppy. There's uh, pretty much um, sprue nubs, you know, from when they clipped them off the mold. And I noticed something that no reviewer really mentions that much. He's not white. He's pearl. So he's not completely white. His joints are white, but the rest of him is pearl. And then his uh, flames are a cobalt blue. Now he has the same articulation you expect from a W mold. Um, die cast feet. Start from the bottom. Give him a little foot massage. Ooh, yeah. Anyway. That's as far back as it goes. Pretty limited. That's as far forward as it goes. And then you got the toe joint, which does feel nice on this one. It feels a lot smoother than it does on Cyclone Joker. Ankle swivel. And of course the ankle rocker. Which, that's as far as it goes. If you use my technique, as I showed you in the Tato, Tatoba video for plastic feet, plastic feet have more articulation than this one. But then again, so does Fize. And Fize also has die cast feet. Double jointed knee. Swivel. 
type 1 hips with the pull down. And you got that swivel kind of limited by design here. All this right there. And you have his uh, abdomen back and forth. Upper severely hindered by design. There are certain mods where if you um, pop the uh, torso off and cut away at the plastic on the underneath, you won't even see it, but um, you can give him a better ab crunch. Then he has the trademark Bandai ball and hinge shoulder thingy. So you can do that. Fun stuff. That's as far up as his arm goes. Shoulder pads are on a hinge connected to the actual shoulder. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow which is executed poorly by design and then of course ball hinged wrists and then his head is on a double joint so you of course you can do the chicken head his bandolier maximum drives are not removable they look like they are but they're glued in place there you go I'll give you a full 360 He's got the Bandai China Tramp Stamp right there. Maximum drive on the side. Lost driver is removable, as usual. Um, really, there's not much else to say about this figure. If you have a W mold, then you already know pretty much what's going on in terms of articulation. And uh, for this release, Say only really get him if you're a fan of Advent Children and you really, really, really like that last fight with Cloud and Sephiroth. Um, but other than that, I would have to give him a thumbs down. Unless you're a completionist. Then, of course, you're going to get Kamen Rider Italy. His box is much, much wider than the average figure art box and that's to accommodate the cape this is the same size box as the uh, Zero and uh, Kasumi figure arts why are you still watching this? oh, it's better than Shigen Shinobi thanks like, oh my god